Hey, this is Mikey with an After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about master properties and how to affect the source text in your master property composition. Now, master properties, I'm not really going to dive deep into them. I just want to show you one kind of, it's basically a quick tip um, of something you can do to make using your source text in master properties uh, so much more simple. Um, let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. Right here, I've got... Um, this is set up pretty quick. I've got a text and then source text is two layers. I've got them connected together so they work together nice and they automatically adjust where the position is based off of what text is in there and things like that. Uh, basic stuff that you would do for a lower third. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compose, pre-compose these together, give it a name, and then I'm going to go into this composition and I'm going to set the source text t so it works with master properties. So how you do that is you go into the source text, you right click, uh, let's do this bottom one first, and we're going to add property to essential graphics. And that puts it up in this essential graphics tab, and, uh, and then that makes it available as a master property. So we'll just call this a first, and this second one, we'll go in there and we'll call it second. Okay, now when we go back into our main comp, we have this new twirl down menu called master properties and it has first and second. Now here's the issue is that's the source text and if I want to change that there's not a real easy way of doing that. So you have to right click and edit value and go in and change this to something else. And it automatically swaps. But I want to be able to do a quicker way of doing that. And I'm going to show you a couple of different methods. One method is you can come in here to this um, text layer or this composition. And let's add to it just a random expression control. It doesn't really matter what it is. Let's just have a slider control. And so I'm going to pick whip that slider control. And you can see it says effects slider control slider. And I'm going to delete slider and just put dot name. And you can see now it's slider control. And I can come in here and just change this to whatever. And it will automatically switch that. So that's pretty cool. And I could do that for both of those. So I can just come in here and change the name of the controls. And it, I don't have to right click on this and get the properties. I can just change it from there. Now there's another thing we can do, I'm going to um, undo all that, is let's bring in another text layer. I'm going to call that master properties. And then find the source text and we grab and pick whip the source text of that. Now what we can do here is, as we change that one, it'll change this one. And we can just hide that and move it off to the side. And what makes that cool is then I can um, keyframe the change to other things. Now, one more thing I want to show you. Um, let's go back into... Let's undo that. Is I want to use just the name of the layer. So I'm going to actually give this layer a name right now, Master Properties. And then I'm going to do a vertical bar. Um, give it a space, dash, source text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name of the layer itself to feed into these two layers. So if I come up here and just grab that name, this layer, and then let's type dot name dot split. And inside split, I'm going to do parentheses and a vertical bar. And what that does is it splits it into two layers or to two sections or basically however many bars you have. Um, and I want to grab the first one, which is index zero. I'm going to copy this. Let's add this to the second one. And instead of index zero, we're going to add index one. And you can see it just put it all in there. And I can come in here and change this to you know, something else, and it'll automatically update that um, just based off of where that vertical bar is. So that's three ways you can use um, 
not use really modify how you use the source text um, effect for your master properties so if you're creating lower thirds you're creating uh, mogrits or anything like that where you need to have access to the source layer this is some handy stuff so hopefully you learned something new thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time